beautiful day today. Look at those mountains. So pretty. I love where we live. I love the country. Hopefully this means spring is coming soon. I love snow on the mountains, but I really like the warmer weather. <laughs> I'm Buffy and this is Buffy Designs. Well today I am changing it up a little bit with my videos. Since I'm having some difficult times with my computer, it's pretty old, and I've been putting off purchasing a new one um, just because they're so expensive and I am a frugal person. <laughs> so I, I thought I could, you know, do what I do with the computer I have but it is frustrating. It's not fast enough uh, for my editing program and it's really difficult to do all the things I want to do with these videos and I went through three different crafts this week and struggled with the editing trying to get it all together because my computer kept crashing. So I broke down and purchased a new one and it won't be here till next Wednesday. I did order one a few weeks ago and of course it didn't show up. It got lost. So I'm waiting for a refund on that and I'm just having one, you know, hell of a time right now. <laughs> um, so I wanted to kind of do something different so it didn't take a lot of editing and then um, it'll be a quick video today and then now to at least show that I'm consistent with my videos and then next week you could see my other craft video that I have. But I kind of put together um, a collab of things so that you could see what's coming up and the ideas I have. I may not end up showing you all of them but I do have some some spring ideas. I'm trying to kind of get spring to uh, to come because I, I love spring. It's my favorite. Spring and summer is my favorite seasons and so um, I just really like it because everything's bright and pretty and colorful and so I'm, I've kind of done a little bit of that with some things that I've picked up from the thrift stores as well as Dollar Tree and um, I just wanted to kind of go over that with you and show you what I have. So first of all um, I have a a painting that I did. It's, you know, I'm still learning. I'm teaching myself how to do uh, watercolors and it is a lot harder than what they look like on the, the uh, learning videos on YouTube. They make it look so easy and um, I guess you just have to keep playing with it in order to get really good at it. But I wanted to show that on here, and um, I did it for Easter, of course, and um, it's just really difficult to do fine lines without it uh, bleeding through and just running through the paper because it absorbs it so well. So you kind of have to get down a technique of your own to know exactly when to use the, the water more and or less in order to do it. So I just wanted to show you. and. Well, that's one of my first things that I want to do is um, put this in a frame and I found a frame at the thrift store and I thought it was really pretty. Of course it has to have some TLC for it but that's an easy fix. Um, but I do want to paint it white and distress it. Of course clean it up because it is still dusty but I thought that would be really cute in in a frame like that and to sit out in your entryway or living room along with some flowers and, and that just to, to brighten it up. So that's my first thing. And then so throughout this video um, I do have another couple of things that I wanted to pop into the video which shouldn't be too hard to connect those together and um, then we can have a, a video this week. <laughs> But um, here's another thing that I have. 
I saw a picture of a wood tray, rounded bowl looking tray on uh, Pinterest that had, um, it was wood that had greenery and one of the wreath, the grapevine wreaths on it, and then some uh, cute little eggs at Easter Bunny, and I think it had a bird's nest with some eggs in it. I just thought it was really cute, so I found... I've had this. I found this bowl. It's wood and it's really pretty and well made. Um, original price on sale was $9.97 and then the original price was $17 and I think I got it for $0.75. Cents. So I want to do kind of a dupe of that one and do it white like it was and distress it and then I, I plan on doing like some um, not twine, but the nautical rope on each side for handles. I thought that would make it look really cute and look like the tray. And then, of course, um, use the, the grapevine wreath. And then I also bought a, a wicker planner thing. And I think you may have seen it in my pre one of my previous videos. Um, but it came with a bunch of greenery. And I thought, this is perfect for spring and Easter and just maybe wrap that around it so that it's all in there like you know make it look pretty and kind of matches the picture I saw and then um, I have a glass bunny I want to put in it I didn't get it out I should have but I have this one that I'm going to redo for a different thing but you put a glass bunny in and you know some eggs in that and it's so cute for your table or a coffee table. I thought that was cute. Um, and then this greenery, you know, I thought maybe I could just make a little one and have it uh, leaning up to get against something. You know, you can kind of dress these up and just lay them anywhere. Greenery is always pretty anywhere you put it. So I just thought that was a cute idea. And then of course I'm going to redo this bunny I got for a dollar. I'm going to uh, paint it all white and distress it and change up the bow. My daughter thinks I should keep the fabric. I'm not sure if I want to or if I want to do some burlap or something different. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see on one of my videos coming up, but um, we'll just see how that goes. Then I have an idea from the Dollar Tree. This is, um, they sell these trays. I don't always see them at our local one here, so I purchased a set of four because that's the least you can get um, at on their website. And I thought it'd be cute to paint white or even that uh, mint green, not mint, but more of a um, sagey light green, you know, the Eastery color. Actually, this color, that color, but a little bit lighter. And put uh, spring on it or Easter or even there's a cute uh, running bunny that you can print online um, or they have the stamps now that you can stamp it that would be really pretty I just thought that would be a good idea so and again this video is just to show you some ideas and some things that I have on hand and then a couple other little things I want to collab with um, I apologize if it's not my normal crash showing you how to do these things but again I will make it up to you once I get my computer um, I don't know if you saw my Instagram and Facebook post or not but I have these leftover pieces of spindle that I cut up um, for another project but I saw that there was a picture of some wood carrots they were so cute all I have to do is cut it down and to a point and then paint them orange and you know distress them and then use this cute little uh, greenery at the top and I just thought that was a cute idea to use up some old stuff and then I found this cute door um, at the uh, thrift store I paid 75 cents for it and it is just like an old-fashioned screen door and I plan on painting it and changing this up here and maybe putting um, 
our initials on there or something. I thought that would be cute. And I found these at the thrift store as well um, for a dollar. Well, one was 75 cents and the other two were a dollar. But they're really gorgeous the way they are and I'm debating on leaving them the way they are or painting them white. I'm not sure. But I think these would be cute as a group and um, use some of the lavender to put in them. You could just use that. I guess I should show you what the lavender looks like. But I thought that would be cute as that. Or um, Dollar Tree had some cute flowers. You could put a bunch of them in and have some hanging out and have it all match with different colors. They had a different uh, batch of colors on there. Or even just doing just green grass in them and then put cute little, um, the, they have little bunny, wooden bunnies you could put on skewers and stick them in. And I thought that would be really cute too. And again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint them white or not. We'll see. And then I've got this, and I know the Dollar Tree sells this stuff too. It's that mesh. I got it um, at Halloween time. I think I spent like $5 for the whole roll on uh, one of the classifieds. But I thought that would be cute to just roll up and glue it and make like a carrot out of that, if you can see roll it up, make a carrot, and put some of that, um, oh, too good. some of this on top of it as well, just like we would for the carrots. <laughs> but do it on here instead. And you could even stuff it with um, orange um, stuffing or um, even just any kind of stuffing, but I think it looks cute just the way it is. And then I picked up this cute book for 75 cents at the thrift store. It needs some TLC as well. Um, just needs a couple of nails and glue. But it was really cute. It has a little felt in it. It's a box. But um, you could change this up too for, um, for any decor. Easter, you know, anytime it seems like you always need something to stick on the on the table or something to to fill and i think books are really big right now and i think it's really cute i thought that was cute and then one of my last things that i have are my idea is to get i have a bunch of these put away and i've got to find them but I have different sizes and and i think the bigger ones would be probably better but dollar tree sells these cute little packages of twine in different colors and I thought these were really cute for um, spring and Easter. There's some pink and green and purple as well as the brown, orange, and yellow. And they come in the pack of three and I thought that would be cute to glue all the way around these uh, plastic eggs and then use those to fill into your baskets, into like this kind of decor, anything like that, and um, change things up a little bit. So I think that's all I have for right now. And um, stay tuned for the other few little videos that I'm going to connect. And um, I hope you enjoy. And make sure to come back next week when I have my craft video complete. I hope it turns out with the new uh, computer. Let's keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> so make sure to come back and stay tuned. Okay, here is the item I wanted to show you. It's a creamery milk can uh, antique that a lady from, uh, well, a lady lo here locally from one of my ads reached out to me and asked if I could do one of my crockery stamps on her milk can for her. And so I did for a charge, which I normally don't do that, but I thought, hey, why not? And um, I think it turned out really cute. If you could see 
that's the stamp I put on and let's see if we can make it clear there we go that's the stamp I put on and it's her carnation can which is super cute um, and she uses it for her decor in her home which I'm sure is really cute and then this is the stamps that I use it's the IOD stamps and I will also link that below I'm not sure if they have any more they've all been getting sold out and last time I tried to link it it looked like it was gone so I hope you can try to get them if you really want them and then I wanted to show you this too I have this this is funny it's a just like a cardboard carton that um, is from our toaster packaging Let's see if I can get it clear and I thought it would be a cute idea to stick some of this greenery in it or this grass and put um, a bunch of eggs in it and possibly a bunny even maybe that wood bunny that I showed earlier would be cute but paint this uh, carton white and make it look kind of farmhouse so that was my other idea <laughs> so I hope you like this and um, I just wanted to share that with you well that's it for this week's video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I inspire you to be creative and think outside of the box with your own home decor and create something that uh, nobody else has thought of and and just make your home comfortable and happy for yourself and if you're new here I hope that you subscribe and check out all my other videos and please share my videos so that I can uh, have more subscribers come in and make this even better and uh, we'll see you next week with all of the uh, crafts I made for this week <laughs> Um, once I get my new computer, it will be um, a lot better and hopefully be more creative myself. So again, um, we'll see you next week and I, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.